the real. Thank you the for the real. super chat. He says when when EQ your subs on Mini DSP two by four, does does Odyssey need to be on or off? I feel it would cancel out using both Odyssey and EQ from DSP. Mm. All right. Uh, does it need to be? Uh, well, well, here let me just say I would recommend that if you're gonna use a Mini DSP two by four, what you want to do is just choose one like what do you want to use to do the eq because they both can do eq mm -hmm. so uh the reason why you might want to use the mini dsp is because you have four outputs so if you have more than one or two subs then you need to use the mini dsp in which case don't do any eq on odyssey right um if you only have one or two subs yeah, depending on your AVR, then you could possibly you could possibly use this. But um, yeah, some only have one sub out, some have two sub outs. For the most part, if you have a mini DSP, just use that, right? You'll you'll be better off in the long run uh, if you decide to add more subs. So I think that answers the question. Um, Which would you use first, though, if you're going to use both? If you're going to use both. What you want to do is here. Here's here's a case when you'd want to use both. Is if you use Mini DSP and you use something like Multi Sub Optimizer, right? Which is you're taking, let's say, up to four subs and you're making them all work together, meaning they all have different levels, different delay, different EQs per sub, depending on where they're placed and you know how it interacts with your uh, every one of your listening positions. So uh, multi-sub optimizer combines all your subs to work as one, right? What I usually recommend is EQ that to flat. So in multi-sub optimizer, you get an, there's an option to put in a target curve. Don't put in a, any target curve, right? Make it flat. That way, you can go into Odyssey and then set the target curve there. That way, if you decide to change up your desired target curve for whatever reason, well, at least you're starting with a flat curve that you can mold to whatever you want, right? If you had built it into that curve, then you'd have much more of an issue trying to undo that later on. And you'd probably have to redo the whole thing. So that would be the case where you'd, yeah, you'd use both. So mm -hmm. uh, hopefully that helps. All right, everybody, we do the Daily Hi-Fi Podcast every Monday, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you join up to the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash daily hi-fi, and we will see you there for the big show every Monday. Yeah.